everyone. My name is Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video for my channel. We're just going to be chatting a little bit. I'm here to talk about how I realized that half my favorite makeup was breaking me out. I had recently discovered that I have been allergic to a certain ingredient that is in a lot of my favorite products and I wanted to share with you how I found it out how I took it out of my routine, and how it really cleared my skin. Probably gonna be titling this something really clickbaity, to be completely honest, because this is something that I've been requested a lot. You guys have been noticing that my skin has been getting a lot better on Snapchat, and I definitely wanted to do two separate videos. I wanted to do my new skincare routine and then this one in a separate video. This is just gonna be like a quick little video. If you are interested in finding out how I discovered that majority of my makeup was breaking me out, just keep watching. So I guess I should tell you guys what the ingredient is, right? It's called ethahexylpalmitate. I'm gonna put it right here. So how I discovered this was one day I had been doing my makeup and I grabbed a bronzer that I hadn't been using in a long time, which is Nars Laguna. And as I was doing my makeup, I realized, wow, in my bronzer lines, I'm really getting some like little bumps. Sometimes I had just gotten my little bumps all over my face. Actually, for a really long time, I would get bumps all over my face when I would use certain products. And I didn't really think of anything of it. I just thought that my face really couldn't take that much makeup. So I didn't really think anything of it. So then I was going through some old videos, and I had seen a video that Marlena from Makeup Geek did a couple years ago talking about how FXLPOM tape is pretty sensitive for some people and can break them out. From what I understand, it's a like an oil derivative, and it's used in a lot of products to give them a little bit of a slip so that they can attach to the skin. I do some Googling and then I see that there are also a lot of other people who have the same allergy. Flash forward like probably about a week. I was doing my makeup, not to film or anything, but I was just doing my makeup one day and I said, you know what, let me put something, like let me put that NARS bronzer on one side of my face and a bronzer that doesn't have that ingredient in it on the other side of my face which I did, and the other side of my face that didn't have the bronzer that had ethahexylpalmitate in it didn't break out, but I had little bumps all right here in the one that did. I said, okay, so it's definitely something in Laguna. So I put the ingredients of Laguna in one of the ingredient websites. I had seen a whole bunch of them. I'll list a couple down below. And it said that ethahexylpalmitate was one of the main ingredients. And I said, okay, so... I did another experiment the next day. I took Peach's blush on one side and then my flower blush on the other side. Same thing, got bumps where the flower blush was. And I said, okay, so this is definitely ethahexyl palm tea. So that caused me to go on a huge spree of my entire makeup collection, going through everything, looking to see if it had that ingredient in it. And turns out, a majority of my makeup had. So I'm talking to Nicole about it, I'm talking to my mom about it. Every time I find a product that has it in it, it makes me like realize, oh my god, that day I had bumps, or oh my god, that day like my makeup didn't look right. It's in so many bronzers, you guys. It is in so many bronzers. And you guys know I am a bronzer fanatic. And let me just say something, this little breakout right here is just because of my period. It's not because of anything that's going on. It is in so many bronzers. I had to get rid of my Too Faced bronzer, I had to get rid of Laguna, I had to get rid of my Tarte contour palette and I know what you guys are thinking like you could still use them but I really want my skin to be clear and I've done a whole new skincare routine just so that I don't get those little bumps anymore. So as I'm going through my collection I find it's in the Laura Mercier powder, it's in so many drugstore blushes, those LA Girl blushes that I really like, it's in it's just in so many different products and every time I would find a product that it would be and I would get a little discouraged. But then I started researching what products it wasn't in. So it's not in the Urban Decay bronzer that I love. It's not in my new Hourglass bronzer that I love. A lot of cruelty-free brands don't use ethahexylpalmitate. I can't say that for all cruelty-free brands because MAC doesn't use it at all and MAC isn't cruelty-free. But I found in my research that a lot of cruelty brands don't use it. But it's just so hard because so many of these products were products that I really loved. So what I had been doing was I have been selling all of the products because I keep my products in great condition. My collection has always been in tip top shape. So I've been selling all of them because I don't want to use products that are going to break me out. So I know that ethahexylpalmitate is one ingredient that really breaks people out. I know a lot of fragrance breaks people out. If you notice like you're wearing certain powders and it breaks you out or you're wearing certain even setting sprays it's in some setting sprays which i find really weird because it's oil water but whatever 
So yes, that is how I have really cleared my skin. Number one is just changing, taking it completely out of my routine. And it's really been hard because there are so many new products on the market right now that I would love to try, but they have ethahexapalmitate in them. Like the new Bye Bye Pores bronzer from IT. And there was another bronzer I saw. I don't know why it's mostly in bronzers. It's in a lot of face powders too. Like when I heard that it was in the Laura Mercier powder, it made so much sense to me because for two years of my life, that's what I set my face with every single day. So I would get those bumps on my face every single day. This was like a really short video, but it's something that you guys have been requesting. And if you have found that you're allergic to anything or you're sensitive to any specific things, let me know down below. Let's talk about it. I'm also gonna link a couple videos down below where people have talked about ethahexapalmitate allergies and stuff like that. Remember, have a great day everyone. You was kind, you was smart, you was important. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will definitely be filming my skincare routine next so you guys can see how I even more cleared my skin. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye!